Hey there, it's Mike Moore. I have done things. Things no man should do. So, me thinks last video was a little too aggressive. Sorry. Yeah, so we're gonna try and change that today. Here we go. Got a little uh, primer here before we get that. Uh, no, I'll just let here, here you go. So many of you don't know this. Actually, none of you do because I can see the view counter. But I've got a Game Jolt page I use to post roadmaps on for each update. Uh, I've only really done it for this video, but for now on, I'm going to be posting a roadmap so you can see what I've done. So that's what I'm going to be using as structure for this video today. Uh, I'm going to be going through them one by one and I'll uh, just keep things going super linear, super structured, super straightforward, and it's going to be nice. So camera stuff. Lots of people gave me input based on what I said in the last video, and that helped me decide on what to do with the camera. And camera stuff is exciting, I guess, right? Ooh, things go invisible in a radius around the camera! Ah, enterable buildings because the roof goes invisible. Oh, another playable camera angle. I mean, fuck oh, no, shit, no, no, shit, no. you're. Mm. Uh, number two. In the last video, Petrocore, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, suggested I give the trash shooter, who will be now known as the Foot Soldier, a dancing animation. And I was really getting tired of how ugly and uh, just, this was the first character I made for the game, right? So like, didn't know what I was doing, the human skeleton thing was sort of weird, I got the proportions all wrong, and well, we I won't even talk about, about that. But uh, I, I, anyway, long story short, completely redid him, gave him all new animations, and redid the model. And uh, have a gander at this sweet baby. Oh, what an improvement. Ooh, boy. Look at how smooth everything looks compared to the crappy proportioning. Like silk. Oh, look at that dance animation. Tosses his gun up in the air, too. What a badass. Look at those curves. He's got another dance animation, too. Those moves. I did, too. Look at that ass. Oh, I just want to touch it. If I could just all okay, right, stop, all right, stop. That's enough. I think we uh, we're yep. driving the viewers away yep. or something. Yep. Moving on. This happens when things die now because RTK Illustration on Reddit suggested it, and I liked it. it sounded like a neat idea. Uh, all right. A few people mentioned that it was difficult to see if you were hitting enemies, especially the small ones, because it looked like the bullets were flying over their heads. This is because the bullets were flying over their heads. Some of the enemies, like the drone and the spider, have hitboxes that are taller than their bodies, because in a top-down shooter you wouldn't be able to aim and hit them otherwise, right? The solution to that was one, create impact graphics, so little explosions and sparks happen when you hit things now. So as I shoot this building, you can see a lot of impact graphics are coming off the walls when the bullets hit the walls. And two, there's now some activatable auto-aiming that I put into the game. You can see here when I'm holding down the button, little red crosshairs pop up over the enemies. You can only aim at things that are right in front of you and you can't pick what you're aiming at as an attempt to keep this as a utility, not something you should use 100% of the time. So let's say, for example, there's a big enemy behind a small enemy. If you turn on auto-aiming, it's going to aim at the small enemy, even though you should probably be prioritizing the big guy. So you're only going to want to use it once in a while, not all the time. Also, I did have in mind that some of you may just not like auto-aiming, so you can just not use the button, and uh, that's that. So I've had parks and destructible buildings suggested to me a few times, and I've always planned on doing that. They're all on the to-do list, as well as doing little barriers and obstructions on the roads, just so you're not fighting on a flat surface. Stuff to hide behind. Stuff like that is cool, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Maybe in the next update, things like that will happen. Speaking of next update, I finally added strafing behavior to the drones. So you'll see here when they look at you and they shoot, they bounce around side to side and boost a little bit backwards. So that's cool. Makes the combat with them a little more fun and lively. Also, there's a new swarm missile launcher ability. It functions like Macross missiles, or for the uninitiated, anime swarm homing missiles. They're pretty neat. I like them. I like them a lot. I am sorry from the bottom of my heart, Dill Pickle 311 but I just couldn't make Frago scratch the grenade pin with his foot. He just doesn't have the range of movement. I hope one day in your infinite grace you will forgive me. There's a couple new buildings I've added to the city, so there's some size variants now, and everybody likes size variants. Right now there's only one mid-sized building and one large-sized building. This, uh, this warehouse here is the big building that I've added. It's got randomly generated crates out in the yard, so there's like different stacks of different crates, and that's pretty neat. 
Uh, it's a really nice battle arena to wander around in. I like it. And then there's a supermarket that I made. Um, that's pretty neat. Nothing special about it. You can't go inside. It's just to kind of add some buildings that are different shapes and sizes to the game. So it's uh, not so uniform. Actually, please suggest me buildings. Like, anything you can think of that would be fun to fight around. I was thinking about making, like, a paintball arena type thing, or, like, scaffolding along a building, or uh, a strip mall, that kind of thing. I was, I don't know. I'm not super good at coming up with ideas for buildings, so, like, if you guys can think of something cool, let me know. In the last video, I asked for animation ideas. In this video, I'm going to ask for building ideas. So, uh, thank you in advance. I appreciate it. Also, here's some other boring shit that's not worth, like, giving a section in the video. So, here's here's a little summary for you. Okay, I got the picture. Elliot Dotry said, keep it up. So, thanks for that. Fucking complete. And that's about it. I've got some other things in mind, like redoing the UI from the ground up and making a fully interactable main menu. But for now on, we're, uh, we're all done. So as always, please leave suggestions in the comments section or uh, on the Reddit post or wherever you're watching this, because I like to think this is a group effort, you know? Uh, the two of us, the 400 of us, we're, we're all making this together, you know? Stop your goddamn rambling! Damn it, shit. I'm, I'm <sighs> Follow me on Twitter, check out my game channel, like the video, leave your comments, have a wonderful day, don't feed the bears! God, not again! Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your dog, I don't care!